Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, let's talk about low expectations. We've all had them. We've been surprised by things. We've been energized. When we had low expectations and something phenomenal happens to make us think differently. Now, in my case, I'm thrilled when it happens. Because it is the, the unexpected of that low expectation that all of a sudden you just go, oh my god. Now, examples. Just everyday examples. Jumanji, the new film that came out, what, two years ago? The first one, Welcome to the Jungle. I had very low expectations, but my son really wanted to see it. I was very surprised. I had low expectations. The movie was awesome. Part two came out. Everyone said the movie was trash, so I had very low expectations. But guess what? When I saw the film, I was happy. And that's all that matters. So I had low expectations. Stumped up. Now, ah, uh, the opposite is true as well. Modern Warfare 2. I had high expectations for that game. And it has not panned out. It is not as good as COD 4. It, it's just not. It's not as good as Black Ops 4. It's not. But, but it does have ideas in the game that I like. But it's okay. So, let's transfer this now, this whole little minute and 30 seconds we've had, into magic. When you have a pack of cards that you're opening, whatever they may be, generally, you have very high expectations. You're hoping for something amazing. You're just like, huh. But, you're often let down when you open the pack and you go, an example being, I got a wall of resurgence as my rare. All right, that, that's your, that's being let down, okay? It, it's okay though, because that happens when you just crack a pack and you're not sure what's gonna happen. Like, I, I get that. Now for me, packs are never let down. I get very excited when something awesome happens. And I'll say a pack is a dumpster fire. But I knew it was a gamble going in. I knew it was some random thing that was, that was going to happen. And I really didn't uh, didn't care how it turned out in the end. Because I knew that. Um, I'm not stupid. If I just want to buy cards, guys, I can go to the card shop and buy whatever particular card I need. Uh, um, those who watch this channel regularly, those who subscribe to me, realize over all the hundreds of videos I've done that if, if I need a card, I just go buy a card. I feel like I need a time walk tomorrow, guys. I will walk in and pay cash for a time walk if I have to have it. I am in that position where if that thing comes up and I have to have something done, I can do it. Not without damage being done, but I can do it. So card opening packs is not uh, is not a letdown for me. I can still go, oh, dumpster fire. Oh, Right? Like when I open those uh, World of Spark boxes, we opened a couple of boxes. One of the boxes was quite good. The other box was kind of like, eh, it's a bit of a letdown, right? But you guys have seen some boxes I've opened where I've gotten just crazy stuff. Like when you open those, I don't know, six packs I opened for the thing for um, Throne of Drain, I got some very good packs in there. And I am not knocking it. Speaking of which, I got to make sure I file some of those. Like I'm not knocking it. They were amazing packs. I got Okos. I got, you know, crazy stuff. Awesome. Now when a new set comes out, so let's let's think of uh, Throne of Eldraine. I had high expectations. I saw the cards coming out. I saw the mechanics. I was happy with the game. Wizards, though, in their in their infinite wisdom, did not think things through. They rushed that product to market, and they ended up banning a lot of cards. Now, it's their fault. Yes, did they plan it? Maybe. My tinfoil hat says they knew some of this was going to happen. They have probably hundreds of playtesters trying combinations of decks across the board. I can't imagine they don't look at the impact of a card like Oko once upon a time and see the ripple effect. Now, the same cannot be said for Modern, where they just ban things like Mox Opal's been banned. Banned. You know for a fact now Mox Amber will go up because it, it's the only card right now that can fill any of the niche. So it's going to go up. Maybe a Mox Tantalite will start to rise because Mox Opal has been knocked out of the game. Wow, that would be a disappointment for me if I invested heavily in that card. Because that card can now only be used in a couple of formats, so it's going to go slowly. 
because people are not going to sell their stuff off, guys. They're not going to let it go cheap because they paid top dollar. And it's been a staple card for years. So that's going to be very hard. But you can't imagine Wizards didn't know. Maybe not for modern format. But for standard, they knew this was going to happen. And if you notice, some of the new cards coming up in Theros seem to deal with certain cards like Oko. Seem to. So don't be surprised if an error set or two in, just at the tail end when Eldraine is going to rotate out, that they don't unban him. If they've put enough cards in to deal with the with the game itself to compensate for his high impact. Notice his price is not going down either. So the disappointment you may face in a game, and I'm not talking set-wise in the sense of, oh, I wanted more. We always want more in a set, guys. That's the way it is. We want amazing cards. We want the... But Wizards doesn't give you... Uh, they give you the odd time. A little bit of air to say that was a good card. Oko was a good card. He is a good card. I see potential Mox Amber. I think it's a good card. A lot of people pull that card. I think it's a good card. I have not been disappointed with that. Now we have Theros coming out, guys. Theros. And we're looking at that card and we're saying, wow, look at those cards. Look at the... We were talking about these cards yesterday. Saying, look at these. Look at the possibilities of some of these cards, right? I'm glad to see Saga's back. They could have a good potential in the game. The gods are back. Hey, some of those gods are pretty sick, guys. They are not bad. Do I know how much of an impact it'll make? I think they've made sure it will not be as bad as Throne of Eldraine. Because now Throne of Eldraine cards have got a mix with what they've made here. Think about this. Think about War of the Spark. We don't have Saga cards that we had from Dominary very long. But when you look at something like Kiora, best the, best the, the god of the sea, right? On the end of that thing, you could callous remove it. You could unsummon it. You could bring that thing back as a non-land permanent and recast it again late in the game. You, there are ways of abusing some of these new cards, guys. And it is going to be hilarious to see how this fits in with the cards that are existing. With War of the Spark, with, with, with M20. I'm curious because I think they thought they had it all throughout through. I think they know some of the ideas that were happening. And they knew these cards were coming up because they've been in the queue for probably about a year, year and a half. Why aren't they still playtesting us to make sure it's going to happen or not going to happen? I think it's hilarious because they just didn't expect that kind of um, backlash, I guess it was, where they go to a tournament and they see that 60 or 70% of the decks are Oko, and that's it, right? So I think it would be curious to see how some of these new cards mix and to see what other cards get banned because I already see some mechanics that I will abuse like mad. If I get the cards, I'm not willing to par pay for them. That Uro guy is going to be crazy, guys. He is going to be crazy in this format. You wait and see. Nick's Lotus. All right. I've already talked about this a bit. I am going to pick some of these cards up, guys. The Nick's Lotus costs four, and it taps for uh, for three. Right? And it comes into play tapped. But guess what? They gave us cards like Manifold Key, which can untap those cards right away. If you go, like, turn one, you get a land. Turn two, you get, like, a Paradise Druid or a Mana Leaf Pixie. Turn three, you're putting that sucker out. And if you put a Spiral Land out, you've already got it out and are untapping it and casting something big like, like a Questing Beast. And you have a huge mana supply. So on the turn after that, you're casting like the Great Henge and stuff. You are casting massive cards by turn four. Massive. Your hand is cleared with the right draw in this game. And especially if you're going to have cards that let you draw cards to keep that repetition going. And it's an artifact. So you can, even, you can still use Karn, the great creator, to create other things to let you get this card out faster. Firemind Vessel, you, you've got all kinds of mana proofs like Geo Key. You, you've got stuff out there you can abuse to abuse this still. You've got that um, uh, the little 1-4 guy when it comes into play, untap an artifact. So, oh, it comes into play. I play this, untap the artifact. Boom, I got five mana. It's crazy. So there's going to be great concepts coming up. Um, I'll play test it out in Arena, uh, assuming I can get the cards. I've been trying a lot of decks right now. I've been using up all my freebie card things, but we'll see. I just don't think we are aware that Wizards already knows this is going on. They already know. They've already play tested. They've seen the abuses. Because remember, yeah, those players who are making those decks and play testing things out can do whatever they want. They're trying crazy, crazy stuff right now, guys, to see what they can build for upcoming tournaments. 
we now can technically do this with playtesting of just printing off cards. But the possibilities are crazy. So keep that in mind. Wizards knows. And they knew this stuff was going to be banned. I can, I can just see it now. And it's okay. If you didn't spend a lot of money, it's okay. If you spent a lot of money, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Wizards right now is in that mode of they don't care. They're going to do whatever they think is best for the game to get more players to buy cards and do different decks. Remember Land of the Dead? Or Field of the Dead, whatever? <laughs> Infinite zombies coming out. Like, come on. That was crazy, man. But it's okay. Because they banned that, too. And people spent money on those cards. So it's like... So let's see what happens in the next upcoming bit with Theros coming out this weekend. Um, I will probably be going uh, to get my boxes. I'll probably do a box opening that night. Although the video is very slow to load up there. You probably won't see it until the morning, guys. And I'll slow roll that and just make sure I show all the cards off, you know, and see what I can see. Um, hope we get some good stuff. It'll be pretty cool. Now, um, I noticed for the promos this time, there is no collector boosters coming with these. So I can't do any collector, I'm not paying that kind of money for the Thero special packs. It's not going to happen. I got free ones, like, these came with it. So I was okay spending that money. Um, but I'm not going to buy a box of that for, like, 400 bucks. It's just not going to happen in Canada. I'm sorry. It's not worth the money. So I'm, I won't be cracking those packs. Um, but it's going to be very interesting to see what Wizards does. Timestamp this video, guys. Three months. Three months. We got a month to get the cards out and really get things rolling. A lot of us will be doing concept stuff right away. Like, I will be doing stuff. And I'll, I think I'm even going to try to hit my pre-release on the Friday night if I can get up there soon enough. We'll see. Anyway, great ideas. Thanks for tuning in. This is MTG Moxman. If you're new to the channel, by the way, I'm glad to see my Theros video. Got a lot of watching, a lot of view time. Um, no new subscribers from it. So if you're new, please hit subscribe. You may want to see something else I do later on or have seen some of the comments that people leave. It'd be awesome. And thanks again. Enjoyed talking to you guys tonight, and I hope you had a great evening. All right, guys. Cheers.